Enter the IHOP, the first martial arts film produced by a major Hollywood studio. Where the world's greatest martial arts athletes meet the ultimate challenge with the most ancient and deadly of weapons, the human body. Enter the IHOP from Liquid Projector Film. Factory. Yeah, this is where it all started. Back in 1973, Jaime and I went to go see Enter the Dragon, and I remember walking out of that movie theater going, that's what I gotta learn, because I'm just tired of getting beat up once in a while. So I don't remember how we found out about the studio, but I remember my mom bringing me down and enrolling me in the classes, and then that led to the core group of Richard Villarreal, Alex Kalangan, Dennis King, and Mokhtar. And then I remember Gary taking us to Chinatown to see kung fu movies and having some great Chinese food. There were great times. Jaime Casillas, who was my best friend growing up, uh, introduced him to, I told him, dude, you gotta get into this. And then um, another friend of ours, Javier Lopez, who he came in later. kinda huh? used to make fun of us about it, but then after when he came in business at the studio and saw how cool it was. Legend has it that Archie Wong used to park across the street, remember the gas station that was yep. right there? And he used to watch the, class. the classes in session while Gary was teaching. We had no idea of the um, authenticity of the style that we were taking at the time. We just thought it was cool. But we were actually learning in very ancient martial arts. Remember the park before it had the jailed fence around it? Yeah. So uh, this is the uh, jailed park here. And uh, 
keeps the people out of it, but a car ran into it, so we're going in. Remember the old uh, Chuck Norris studio used to be right there, right? at the. I'm trying to remember where the King's Furniture is, right? Um, yeah, I think we're right by where the Chase Bank is. Um, really? Somewhere around that area. I remember it being a little more down the yeah, block. Yeah, you're right. Oh, no, it is the King's Furniture. I yeah. think so. I, yeah, think, I think that's where uh, right. Chuck Norris uh, and we used to do uh, tournaments together. Yeah, well, actually, like a classic uh, spaghetti western uh, kung fu movie, they challenged our school to a tournament, and um, we went over there, and um, we all got disqualified <laughs> because uh, uh, the rules were a little bit different. We were used to sparring full contact, and we were kicking guys in the head and things like that. And we all got disqualified. I remember all that. of us. Yeah, every single Later. one of us. Later. Yeah. Go back to Kung Fu. So, so <laughs> technically, they were saying, you, we won, you lost, and whatever. You guys got your butts kicked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. Look at this park, man. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's all fenced in. This is uh, kind of sad in a way. That's, uh, you have to wait for a car to bash through it before you can come in and enjoy the park. Arlene's Donuts. Arlene's Donuts used to be right there. Those were the best donuts ever. Arlene's Donuts, after every every uh, workout and food session workout, we'd go over <laughs> and get the best apple fritter that was, yeah. See that? That's part of Arlene's Donuts right there. Big apple fritters about this big for like, I don't know, 25 cents back in the day. And um, it was awesome. That was Arlene's Donuts, that was a regular staple for Kung Fu training. It was, it was a must. <laughs> what they need to do is open this park back up again. This is Pops here, and he uh, takes care of the, uh, he's the night watchman for the park, aren't you, Pops? About right, right. Do I want a sandwich? No, thank you. I'm good. We'll see you, Pops. Coming over here is uh, the new IHOP. Corporate this restaurant. Used to, this used to be a theater. And over here was the rear entrance to the old Kung Fu studio. This was the uh, back entrance. Sneak out of here. We shared an entrance with the theater group here. Yeah, we did. Back in the day. That's right. The Odyssey Theater. This is where the high speed bike chase happens, where Xi'an Li runs down Gu Tao Lopez. Let's go to the Alley of Doom. <laughs> So this is where Xi'an Li does the double kick. Woo-hoo! He's gonna demonstrate that kick now. Uh, uh, no, I don't think so. If I do it now, I'll probably fracture my hip. But, Come on, uh, <laughs> try it, Alex. Come on. All right. <laughs> I was 14 and limber back then. Just some great times. So, Gary, we hope you enjoyed this little goofy movie we made. And uh, it was because of you that uh, inspired us to make this movie. But you inspired us much more than just to be kung fu artists. They were just really great times. Thank you, Gary. From LA to Thailand, hope you're well. My mother, like probably a year after we started, got me an eight millimeter camera. And that's what led to the shooting of this, of this movie. That's right. That's right. We busted loose with that camera. That yeah, was like the, we did the greatest toy yeah. ever for us. Yeah, <laughs> we burned a lot of film. And Shot a whole lot of nonsense, like that movie you just saw. Yeah.